Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to do a full face tutorial so just sit back and relax. going to try to make it as short as possible but you know how that goes. I'm going to start off with my brows, something I never do on camera. So I'm going to use my Becca primer for my brows. Now I don't think I need it. I never really have a problem with them staying on but I do it as force of habit anyway. I already applied it before I went on camera. Next I use a spoolie. This is from Sedona Lace and I just brush up my brows. Next I'm going to use a few products from the Makeup Forever Brow Line. Uh, this is their brow pencil. I just use this to outline. This is in number 50. It's the darkest one. Okay, the next thing I do is apply a little bit of their brow liner. This one is in 40. And it's just like a liquid liner. It has a little uh, pointed tip. And this is the second to the last color. And I kind of fill in with that. Not much. And then last from their line is the brow gel. And it comes in like a spoolie. This is the second to the last shade. It's number 35. That's what it looks like there. And they said it's little fibers in this to kind of help fill in those brows too. So I think that's helpful for people who don't have uh, much hair in their brow. Next is concealer time. And this time around I'm going to be using the shade Toffee. And I'm just going to take a nice angled brush and neaten up my brows. And for the top of my brows, I'm going to be using Expresso, also from LA Girl. Just mixing it a little bit with the almond. Because Expresso is just a little bit darker than me. It doesn't have to be perfect at the top. I'm learning to make them look a little bit more natural across the top. And towards the front of the brow, just use my hand to kind of blend backwards. Not much of a boxy shape, not too much of a faded shape, just letting it do what it wants to do at the front. Moving on to our eyeshadow, we're going to be using our Urban Decay Primer Potion. And we're going to apply that to both eyelids. For people with hooded eyes, I would suggest always putting on a primer because it keeps things from transferring to the upper. Uh, brow area. It keeps your eyeshadows on all day. It keeps you from creasing. So I like it. Alright guys for a base for my eye I'm going to go back into Toffee and I'm just going to apply that all over my lids. I'm going to go back into my Morphe 25A palette. And I'm going to pick out a brow bone color. I think I'm going to go with this tannish shade right up here. And just apply it very close to the brow because it's a very light color and I'm dark. So, got to be cautious with it. Now I'm going to just pick a shade that's closest to my own skin tone in my opinion in this palette and just cover my entire lid with it. I'm going to go with that one over here. Just a nice fluffy brush. And I'm learning that just applying something over the entire lid, it will help the other eyeshadows to blend. The next shade I'm going to use is right here. A nice orangey shade. I'm going to start working that into my transition area, but I'm keeping it in the outer corner here. Another thing I think they should have did with this palette because they went smaller with it is a mirror. It would have been nice. Right now I'm holding up two different palettes because I need a mirror.
the next shade I'm applying is going a little deeper over here right in the same area just a little bit lower than the orange shade same brush And notice how I'm using the brush in downward motions like this. Just going back and forth, but at a slant. Okay, we're going to go to the deepest brown in the palette, which is right down here. Same brush. I hate using a bunch of different brushes. It's just more brushes to clean. Okay, same brush. We're going to just apply that a little lower. Alright, for my lid color, I'm going to go into this gorgeous, shimmery, brownish, cognac type shade right here. This is the Estee Edit palette. And I'm just applying it right there. Okay, so after applying that shade, I'm going to take my finger and go into this pink shade here and just tap that right in the center of that. We go back into our blending brush if we have to. We're not picking up any color, just going around it. Before we apply any lashes, we're going to go ahead and use our e.l.f. gel liner. Very affordable, very good. going to apply some mascara really quickly before I apply some lashes. This is the Max Factor Mascara. Uh, it's a masterpiece. My eyes, or at least the top of my eyes, are finished. I'm going to move on to my face. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I've been loving it lately. It's making things glide on so smooth. Alright guys, you saw me apply the Smashbox Photo Finish. I also applied the Becca Backlighting Primer. I really, really like that. It makes your skin like glow. It makes your skin so pretty. Uh, also, a new item that I'm trying right now is under my eye. And I know you're looking like, girl, that is too light. But, I'm going to apply foundation over it. So, I'm just testing some things out. We're going to see how it works out. This is the Becca uh, Under Eye Brightening and Corrector. And it's kind of a pinkish shade. So I'm going to apply it like this. And we're going to see if it gives me that lift that I need here. I'm going to use the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I love it. Let's see how it works with all these other products. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender for it. So 
So as you can see, it covered under the eye pretty well. Still gonna go over it with something else, but it really looks highlighted and youthful. It really looks eye-opening. Really like that. Hey okay, guys, and that's how my skin is looking so far. I'm gonna go back in with the Makeup Forever HD Concealer. This is in Y49. I know y'all, I'm scaring myself. For my contour today, I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics uh, Foundation. It's a very much darker than me. This is a Deep Espresso. Kind of looks like chocolate mousse there on my hand. I have the Sasha Buttercup Powder and a little bit of the Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder mixed together in here. Why I did it, I don't know, but it works. I'm using a nice fluffy brush. This is the Sigma F35 brush. I'm also going to set where I placed that lighter shade on my nose on my chin and under the contour bit this is the rimmel liner it's like in a nude shade this is um in the nude 213 so i'm gonna apply that in my waterline i'm gonna apply some of my l'oreal eyelash primer i did a review on this um i'll leave the link down below it really makes your lashes pop if you're a person that does not like to apply falsies, you may need to try an eyelash primer. It turns the lashes white, and then you would apply, you know, whatever color mascara you want to apply over it. While that's there, I'm just going to apply a dark brown shadow. I'm not going back into my Morphe palette, although I could. Since my little e.l.f. palette, this is the Jackie Anya palette, by the way. Since this is here, and there's a dark brown in here, I'm just going to go underneath the lashes here. Should have done this first. But you could apply any colors that are on your lids right down there. And my Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara on my bottom lash line. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to brush off all of this excess powder. And then we're going to go into my... Uh, Black Up Cosmetics Contouring Powder. This is in 04. I'm going to use the same brush. This is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40. Just dip into that. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of my Mary Kay Mineralized Foundation. This is in Bronze 5 just to get rid of some of these very light spots like there. This is the new Becca and Chrissy Teigen uh, Glow Face Palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. Looks like marble on the outside. Looks like a nice pinkish peach marble tile. And they said that they got this idea from her home. The, the, these are the colors that are in her home. So like a rose gold, peachy gold. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And on the inside... You have a very large mirror there and those four shades. Now, a lot of people are saying it looks similar to the Jaclyn Hill palette. We will have a comparison video coming up very shortly, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be using uh, this shade here in the palette that is Beach Nectar.
And I'm sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise. Everybody is home, so we're trying to get this done. <laughs> That's my husband laughing. He knows I'm talking about him. And this peachy shaded uh, blush here in the palette is called uh, Hibiscus Bloom. So I'm going to lightly, because I am a darker skinned young lady, I'm going to lightly place that somewhere back here. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm digging it. I know you can barely see it, guys, but it's it's very, very nice. It is not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that rose gold shade in my inner corner here. Yeah, that's pretty. Alright, for my lips, I'm going to keep it very simple. Going back to one of my ColourPop loves. This is Pitch by ColourPop. And instead of a lipstick, I want to try putting on just a lip gloss. This is from Wet n Wild and it's Rose Gold. So let's see what that looks like. So this means I need to go to the store and buy like three more before this video goes live because everybody's going to be trying to get wet and wild rose gold. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, look, look, look. Okay. So let's apply our Fix Plus. You remember I said I don't feel like it's a setting spray. I just feel like it gives you a little something to your face. And the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to go do something with my hair and I'll be right back for your completed look. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is your completed look. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in to me today. Um, I am absolutely loving just about everything that I put on my face. I think I'm going to play around with things just a little bit more and come out with a really nice full face routine. But so far, I think I'm really liking the placement and the order in which I put everything on my face. I'm really thinking I like that. So let me know what you guys think about it. Also, there is a giveaway in this video. I will be giving away the Estee Edit Palettes, the Gritty Palette, which is the Eye Palette, and the Glow Palette, which is the Face Palette. I did talk about these when they first came out. It was the ending of last year. I believe they came out kind of like in a holiday collection type thing Estee Edit was doing um, in the maybe November, December. I could be wrong. But I do have my own two palettes and I have two brand new palettes I never opened. So there will be a giveaway on these two palettes. For this giveaway, first of all, I just want you guys to know it will be you as only. Unfortunately, for right now, I'm really trying to come up with a great giveaway. Maybe towards the end of the summer where I can incorporate international subscribers but for right now we're going to keep it you as uh one person that's going to win both of these let me show you what the inside of the eye palette looks like nice large shadows let me move my hand out the way nice large shadows and this is the gritty palette and when you purchase these palettes they come as a duo so that's why i'm giving them away together to enter this giveaway, you must be a subscriber to this channel. You also must be following me on Instagram and you must be following my blog. So all of that information will be down below. There will be a picture of these two palettes. Maybe I'll be holding them in a picture on Instagram. And I want you just to leave a little message underneath that picture. This giveaway will be going on until June 15th so that'll give people enough time because this month is going by super fast so june 15th this giveaway will be over and i'll announce the winner and that is about it so i really really appreciate you guys 
and I hope you like this look. Please give me a thumbs up. Remember all the rules. Check out the description box because I'm going to try my best to have everything written there for you, okay? Talk to you guys in the next video. Cyber kisses. Bye.